Hi everybody, this is Umair from Top 5 Solutions. I'm back with the fourth part of this game development series and uh, I'm developing a snake game in Java uh, and this is the fourth part and what we have done up till now is we have uh, uh, made our user interface and draw the snake and for this part I will implement the movement for the snake based on the arrow keys on my keyboard. So what we need to do now, we need to detect the keys that which edge arrow key is pressed uh, and based on that pressed arrow key we need to move the snake towards that direction and to detect the key I need to use uh, this object of this class key event and what it will do is it has a method get key code that let us know that which key is pressed so for that uh, I will write if e dot get key code equals to key event dot vk underscore right okay so inside it what I will do is I will use these four variables if the right key is pressed then I will make this variable to true and make other three variables to false if the left key is pressed then I will make this variable to true and up and down and right will be false so here first of all I need to add this so that the default position of move uh, snake should not exist because if I uh, keep this to zero then the snake will always be at this position so move equal to plus and right equals to true left equals to false up equals to false down equals to false okay one thing has to be considered that uh, if we think of a snake game that uh, then if a snake is moving towards the right direction and if user press the left arrow key then should it move towards the left no because uh, uh, if the snake is moving towards the right and if we directly move towards the left side then the, it will collide with itself so we need to check here that if uh, it's moving towards the right then it shouldn't move towards the left side if it's moving towards the downside it shouldn't move towards the upside um, and same in the other direction so I need to check here that if left is not true then make the right to true okay else make the right to false and left equals to true and remove this line okay so what it will do is it will check if the left is not true then keep the snake moving towards the right side if the left is true and the right arrow key is pressed then don't move towards the left direction but keep the left true and make the right to false uh, and we will do it for the other variables as well so I'll copy it paste it and check if the left arrow key is pressed and left is true and I'll do if right is not true then left has to be true and left right has to be true okay copy and paste one more time for the up direction vk underscore up so now I will make the up variable to true and I will check if the down is not true then make the up to true otherwise I will make the down to false make the up to false sorry 
and down to true and left and right both will be false okay now I'll copy it and paste it for one more time for the down key so down equals to true if up is not true then make the down to true otherwise if the up is true then keep the up true and make the down false all right so what we have done is we have uh, detected the keys of the keyboard uh, and based on those keys I I will move the snake accordingly but right now I haven't written any code for the movement of snake because what we need to do now we need to uh, detect the position of head based on the position of body uh, so let me show you the logic behind what I'm gonna do is let's say we have an array and inside the first index I'm storing the position of head okay let's say it is 20 and all other indices containing the position of circles the body of snake uh, so uh, we need to find out that what should be the position of body how should the circles of body should detect that we need to follow the position of head so for that uh, I have been uh, thinking a lot of time on it that what should be the calculation how does the body know that uh, this is the position that the head have been going through uh, so for that I have come to the solution so what I'm gonna do is I am storing the position of head to its previous index so what it will do is this index this circle will know that I need to move to this position 20 okay if we have a three length of a snake then its position would shift towards the back side so as long as the head is shifting its position to a new one it will shift its position to the previous index and it will have a new index one so hope you understand it and this is the logic that I'm going to implement now for the movement of snake based on its body okay so now for that I need to write a code inside this method this is automatically called uh, when the timer is starts so inside this method first I need to start the timer again okay and now I need to detect the which arrow key is pressed based on the variable so uh, I have already detected the arrow keys inside this method so here I need to check uh, which variable is true so if right is true let me write four times for the left up and down okay so inside this if condition uh, I need to write two loops so write the first one and r equals to length of snake minus one and r should be greater than zero and r minus minus okay and we need to shift the position of head to its next index so for that I will use snake violent r plus 1 equals to snake violent r ok and inside other loop I need to write some logic ok so length of snake and r greater than 0 r minus minus ok inside this loop uh, I'm gonna shift the position of snake x length so let's check if r equals to 0 then snake x length r equals to snake x length r 
plus 25 okay else if r is not equal to 0 then snake x length r equals to snake x length r minus 1 okay and now inside this loop I need to check if the snake is moving and touches the border on the right side then it should come out from the left side so for that I will check the position of head that if snake x length r is greater than 850 then make the position to 25 snake x length r equals to 25 and outside this loop I need to call repaint method so that it will call what it will do is it will call this method automatically uh, and run the everything what is written inside this method so let's try this I haven't yet written anything in other if conditions so uh, the left up and down key movement will not work for now but let's see if our right movement works or not so I'm gonna just start it and I'll press the right arrow key so you can see that our snake is moving and it is coming out from the left side so uh, we are done with the right path but it will not move towards any other direction so let's just uh, write some code in other conditional statements so what I'll do is I will copy it and paste it okay I'll make to minus 25 okay and uh, if it is less than 25 then make it to 850 okay so let's copy and paste it in other conditional statements for the downside I will change its x-axis and for the write y and here I will write y okay so uh, we need to check now that if it is greater than 625 then make the position to 75 okay and now let's do it for the up key so let's change it to X and change it to Y okay now we need to check if it is less than 75 then make it to 625 so I think we are done with this so let's see what we have now so I'm gonna press the right key so you can see it's moving towards the right direction uh, and uh, I'm just gonna press the down key so you can see it's moving down and it's moving left and it's moving up so okay so we are done with this with the movement so let's see if it it's moved towards the left side it comes out from the right side if it moved towards the down downside it comes out from the upside and if it move towards the upside it will come out from the downside so this is all we need to do for this part in the next part what I'll do I will add the enemy at the random position and as the snake picks up the enemy its length will increase so stay tuned uh, and make sure you subscribe this channel and like our Facebook page the link is given in the description below so see you in the next part thanks